when it comes to the sd architecture under the sd architecture we have few layers we have the physical layer we have the network layer we have controller layer and we have the management layer in the physical layer we have physical devices those physical devices can be categorized as fabric edge node we can have control plane node we have fabric border node and we have those intermediate devices which are not even intermediate node which are not even aware of the sda deployment now we have different different models that can act as the fabric as node control plane node border node or in, in, intermediate node can be any device like uh, it can be like cisco non cisco any device it doesn't matter if you are going to use only cisco devices but fabric as node fabric control plane node fabric border node uh, like uh, these uh, are different different devices we can uh, combine the functionalities of the fabric uh, control plane node and the border node into one device however it is not a very recommended solution but we can do that so when it comes to the so physical layer is concerned with the physical devices all the devices that we are going to use in our infrastructure all those devices are going to have different different roles as we talked about now the network layer is going to consist of let me just write down here the network layer in the sda is going to consist consist of two things one we have underlay and one we have overlay in the underlay we have again two things either we can have automated underlay or we can have a manual underlay automated underlay is provided by the dnac and the manual underlay can be either layer 2 or layer 3 if you are using layer 3 as the manual underlay we have to use any igp protocol cisco recommends that you use isis in fact it is what you will see in the automated underlay as well underlay is the underlying infrastructure on the top of which different different tunnels overlay tunnels are built in the overlay we have like control plane based on lisp we have data plane based on vx lan and we have the policy plane based on cisco trust sec okay so different different tunnels are created from one fabric as node to other fabric as node vx lan tunnels are created and within those tunnels your data is going to pass and that is what the overlay is going to do for us it is going to carry the data for different different users from one fabric as node to the other fabric as node over the underlay after encapsulating it with protocol such as vxlay third we have the controller layer in the controller layer we have the different controllers we have dnac like we have dnac uh, we have ice and we have the fabric wlc in dnac we have two things again we have con data control platform and data platform and dp and cp responsible for assurance responsible for ncp responsible for pushing all the confusion and rest of the things to the network ice acts as the policy plane from here we can apply variety of security related policies and the wlc is going to manage all the access points of the network and the finally management layer management layer is it it, it deals with how that dnac is being managed are we using that uh, web based gui 
to access the DNAC or we using some third party automation tools such as Postman and exposing those APIs to push the instructions to the DNAC. In both the cases, it is going to re use REST APIs. If you are aware of the tools such as Postman, you know the scripting, you know the APIs, how to uh, create variety of API calls. You can directly use these tools. You don't need to open the GUI or you can use those third party automation tools. You can use uh, scripting, Python scripting and all to create variety of API calls to, con to push your intent to the DNAC and the DNAC is further on going to push all those things to the devices such as switches, routers, WLCs and all. So management layer is specifically concerned with how the device is being managed. Fine. So these are four layers that we see in the DNA. All right. So now we are done with the basics. Now we'll move on to some more technical things such as how the control plane is based on Lisp, Lisp functionalities, fundamentals, and the data plane based on VXLAN, VXLAN functionalities and fundamentals.